Good morning, everybody. It's practically flooding outside. It's really bad. And, you know, I've been going through a lot of old um, Seattle pictures. I found some of my uncle, the one who, um, it's weird. He was the person at Boeing who worked with them, um, who really he believed was D.B. Cooper. It was very interesting. Um, but it was fun to kind of come across these forgotten pictures from New York in the 80s. I think this is like around 1985. Um, and I used to just love to walk around and take, take photographs. I had <clears throat> worked mainly at night on Wall Street and sometimes in Midtown. And it would be lovely to get out early in the morning. And, you know, it's funny. They do say New York's a city that never sleeps, but... It does feel very sleepy on Wall Street on Saturday night, things like that. And Sunday morning, here we're more at the plaza, right in, in the middle of Midtown. It looks like there's some sort of wedding occurring. You know, it's odd. I did not do a lot of food photography in New York. But I do remember this was Christmas Day, and um, we were going to be eating at the plaza, I think. And there was this tower. Do you see it? There was a tower made of lobsters or crawfish or something. And I just had to take a photograph of it because it was so grotesque that... Um, we actually ran out. Sorry, I've got a cold. We actually ran out of the restaurant. And weirdly, and I, I maybe could Google it, but weirdly, the next day in the newspaper, there was something, there was a, like a headline that said, Tolmain poisoning at the plaza. And we knew exactly what that was from. Someone had gotten a little bit carried away. Sorry, there's some dark pictures. I had not even gone through any of these. That's probably some sort of falafel house. There's a few black and white ones in here, too. That looks like the village, doesn't it, a little? With all of the, um, the sort of lower buildings. Me in Central Park, how fun, in the snow. And that looks a, a bit sort of villagey too, doesn't it? That sort of was my mainstay. Here's just more and more little places. That was a rescued pigeon, a New York pigeon who had no legs. And... <clears throat> She was an uh, amazing experience unto herself. But yes, my uncle, it was funny, I'd been watching some D.B. Cooper movies, and they all kept mentioning D.B. Cooper was, um, D.B. Cooper had put on dark makeup, and my uncle had said, no, he didn't put on dark makeup. He was half Native American, and from the area where he jumped and so it made perfect sense we still don't know if he there's michael i think that they um no maybe that's not i i had a far away picture it's funny this lens always brings things closer um i think that was just my dad and maybe someone in latin america there's a lot of kind of travel going on some of these are just little duplicates, but it is interesting to sort of look back to a rather pristine little time, except I do feel sorry for those horses. Anyway, everyone, have a great day.